it's 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 a physical work. It's 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 made for a classically trained dancer, but it uh, it uh, it it requires them to be uh, much more grounded. It's uh, it's it's a technique that's different in, in many ways uh, from classical techniques. Like it's not Sleeping Beauty, but it has its own powerful beauty about it. But it it it, it has a rawness about it that, mm -hmm. that makes it so powerful. That and 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 it's in keeping with. Uh, the, the music itself and what I love about Mauricio Weinrod's uh, choreography here is rather than try to follow the Latin text uh, word per word he he does the he does it in a metaphorical way you know when you talk about cour d'amour or you do the taberna section or you do the spring you know you you get sense of images of those various concepts mm -hmm. without actually having a story told because the uh, carmina burana was based on latin texts that were discovered that carl orff uh, created his music too. Mm -hmm. Now you've, the, the RWB performed this about six years ago or so. Is it the same production or it's is it? It's the same production. Same production. And yeah. people to this day always ask, when are you bringing Carmina Burana back? <laughs> and, 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 and uh, you know, throughout, we, I think this is the third time we're performing it. And I forget now the first, first time, 2002 or three, mm -hmm. I think. And every time, uh, after every show, people say, oh, can I come and see it again? Or people buy a ticket to come and see it a second time within the same uh, uh, series of shows. Like, they'll come on a Wednesday. They say, well, I'll come also on Sunday because I love the show so mm -hmm. much. So it has certainly a staying power to it. Mm -hmm. The sets and costume are absolutely incredible. It, they have a... We called it a European look to it to a certain degree. It's very open conceptually. So th you see this incredible skyline, if you will, which is so appropriate, I think, to Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, a, it's a very powerful work. And uh, uh, it, it's wonderful to feel that people want to see it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of cool that the choreographer comes in and mm -hmm. gets the dancers prepped. He comes, he's been here for almost a, what, a week already or so, yes. working with, with the dancers as well. And uh, wh what kind of things does he impart to them? Well, you know what? Uh, what's wonderful is uh, choreographers usually come with concepts behind every movement they do. It's not just, oh, let's try this, let's try it. You know, they have visions of how they want to interpret that music. Uh, so. Uh, so that's what uh, Maurizio did here. Mm -hmm. Is he said, this is what I meant here. So it adds yet another layer of comprehension. And he was very fortunate that he had uh, people like Tara Berthwistle, Jaime Vargas, Johnny Chang, and uh, Vanessa uh, Leonard, who were part of the original production, mm -hmm. who were able to help restage the work. So when he arrives, he just has to put the icing on the cake, if you will. <laughs> It's not a bad job. It's not a bad <laughs> job, but it's a very important job because yeah. it gives you the uh, the impetus. Yeah. And it's so exciting working with uh, the, the person who created the work. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've, I, I, obviously at one point Mauricio won't be uh, able to, to do this anymore, so hopefully there will be others that will have heard his words and understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm in conversation with the artistic <coughs> director of the Royal Winnipeg Ballet, Andre Lewis. And we've been uh, talking so far about Carmina Burana, which is uh, one of the main works they'll be doing in the concerts uh, happening this, uh, well, throughout the week and the weekend, Wednesday to Sunday, they're doing a concert every day. I'll give you more details about how to get tickets in a few minutes. But the uh, interesting, the, the Carmina Burana, is the, the power and the strength, which also the beauty, as you mentioned, of Carmina Burana is kind of uh, balanced, I guess you could say, almost like a yin and a yang with the uh, Georges Balanchine serenade which, again, has its own beauty, a little mm -hmm. bit more ethereal, though. Tell us about uh, that uh, piece. Completely. I mean, Tchaikovsky's music is so far removed from Karl Orff, but, but in a very positive way, because I love both pieces of music. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's much more ethereal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, there's a s 17 girls on stage, all wearing long uh, tutus and a uh, a, a unitard, essentially, or a body, a mm -hmm. body suit, uh, or leotard for for, at, at, for the top part. But it's just about pure movement to music. There's no story. There are concepts behind uh, each of the movements again, but there's there's he's not trying to tell a story. But there's it's it's very challenging 
technically uh, it's on point. It requires purity of line, of strength, of everything. It's 35 minutes of really hard work. Precise. Uh, precise, mm -hmm. uh, uh, classical, uh, in, in, in line and in, in comportement of the upper body, épaulement, and all of those things that, that are important to ballet. And what's interesting with uh, Balanchine, he was considered a rebel to a large degree because he, he saw ballet needed to move different than what Petit Pa had done, who created Peter Pa and Ivanov, who created Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, Nutcracker, mm -hmm. and, and a whole host of other works that we don't perform here, but uh, and he, he, he was a product of that training in Russia, but he wanted to push it forward like any choreographer wants to do. And he created this uh, serenade while he was in New York. He had a, essentially he started a school. He, he famously said to people, a company, yes, but first a school. And what he did to get people, he said he's, he was doing variation classes. Mm -hmm. And one of his variation classes was the creation of serenade. And he had an odd number of dancers to a certain degree because people sometimes ca came in, sometimes didn't, you know, because it was free classes that mm -hmm. they would get to do variation. But it's, 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 there's a, uh, there's a beauty, beauty about a serenade that it also takes your breath away. And there's a quality about it. And it's lovely to see a large group of women moving together in unison mm -hmm. and that's to me the power of of uh, classical dance to a large degree it's when you see those 16 or 18 or 24 bodies moving as one mm -hmm. it's a very powerful statement yeah and then uh, um, talking with andre lewis the artistic director of the rwb uh, we've touched upon carmina barana and then the georges balanchine serenade you mentioned that there's a whole uh, a group of women on stage for the Georges Balanchine. So for the final work, Philippe LaRouche for Bye and Bye, if I'm not mistaken, it's for men. It's for men. And, and the idea behind it, because most of uh, Serenade was created, obviously, for mostly women. There mm -hmm. are, I think, six or seven men in total. So I want to give them a challenge also. And of course, dancers can only improve if you challenge them and provide them s with works that mm -hmm. they push. So the, the, the evening will open with uh, a work of Philippe Larouche. Philippe, who is an alumni of our school yes. and yeah. also dance in the company. And uh, they opened the program with six uh, to uh, Beethoven's uh, Fourth Symphony, the third and fourth movement. It's, it's a lovely, uh, lovely piece. And Philippe is a very intriguing choreographer. And for me, it's important to provide tools by which choreographer can uh, can immerse themselves and and grow their talent. You can only do that if you have dancers or bodies around you in mm -hmm. order to do it. Without bodies, you have nothing. So, how would you describe his style of choreography? What is his? Uh, it's it's cl very classically driven, but it's 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 um, he utilizes uh, classical movement. It, it, it's hard to describe on radio uh, mm -hmm. the style, but uh, it's made for dancers that trained. Uh, in, in the art of the ballet world, and uh, but very subtle, very quick, very quirky, and sometimes uh, a little bit on touch of humor with mm -hmm. it. Okay. Well, you know, we're videotaping this, so if you want to do a couple moves, by yeah. all means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we can still show it <laughs> to the audience. <laughs> I would join you, but I don't know if I would yeah. <laughs> probably fumble over everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what a really unique program, you know. I mean, it's got everything. It's got the power. It has the beauty. It has uh, some modernity to it as and well with the and new And we piece, have yeah. the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra with yeah, us. Yeah, let's talk about some of the guest performers that will be there and as well. Uh, yeah. the University of Manitoba uh, Choir mm -hmm. and the Children's Choir. And we have... Uh, Three soloists with us. Adam Sperry, yeah. Ben Erickson, and Sidney Clark. Soprano, tenor, and yeah. baritone with yeah. an University, of, University of Manitoba singers. Yeah. Wow. So uh, this, is, this is great, you know, yeah. when you put all of those people together with what you have on stage and in, in the pit and... Uh, and you have this audience that come. It, it's a spectacle at the same time, but of s very high quality, mm -hmm. and and that's what you want to. That's what you want to do ultimately. Mm -hmm. well, I just want to congratulate you on putting such you know great program together, not just this, but throughout the year. 
and uh, 22 years with the RWB. Yeah, 22 so that, years. that's fantastic. You know, we look forward to many more years. Yeah. At least we do. I don't know about you. I, I do. You. I do, <laughs> actually. I, I, you Not know, quite I mean, ready to give it in right retire yet. Well, they always ask me, how are you feeling? I say, well, I'm living the dream. You know, yeah. this, this is a dream. I mean, it's a wonderful company to work and a school to work for. It's the RWB as an organization. Mm. I mean, and this is the anniversary. 1718 season th as we near our 80th season it's not next season is the following season we're building up but this is the last shows for the company the mm -hmm. school still has some wonderful shows coming up yeah. and it's 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 an ongoing uh, business if you will uh, to, to put it in in those terms that there's always something happening you know and then you, you there's it, it never stops because now we're starting to prepare for our ballet in the parks and then for other uh, shows in the fall. We've announced our season yes. next year, which will Handmaid's Tale, uh, you know, you know, the That's television series. Timely, yeah, it's yeah. a really powerful mm -hmm. work and Nutcracker, Romeo and Juliet and The Wizard of Oz for next season. And, and the school has many, many activities. So mm -hmm. it's all good stuff. So no summer vacation? No summer vacation, pretty much. No, <laughs> actually, because we start in the summer. Usually yeah. the company starts back in July. So they, they get a little bit of June off usually. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy your uh, brief respite and enjoy the rest of this season. The, the, you know, this weekend, uh, RWB is performing Carmina Burana. They're doing Georges Balanchine's Serenade and a work by Philippe LaRouche called For By and About. Uh, the concerts take place, uh, well, tonight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Go to rwb.org for more information and uh, details. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio this yes, morning, Andre. So don't miss the show. It's not going to be back for many, many years after That's this. That's right. No so matter how much you beg, it's not coming it's back not next coming year. Back the year. It's not coming back for 10 years. It's not going to be a nutcracker. It's not going to be nutcracker. <laughs> cool. That's great. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in.